Hey Maniacs, this is Genia and welcome to another video, this time from Belgrade, Serbia. I made it here a few days ago and I was sick the, the last few days and I was just staying in bed. So this is the first time I'm actually going out into the city and exploring and I'm taking you guys along with me. So if you guys are ready, let's get this video started. It's the Henia Man. Henia Man. Henia Man. Guys, we are currently walking around the streets of Skadarlia. Hope I'm pronouncing that all right. And uh, apparently, like this is the Bohemian era er, era area of Belgrade, and it's supposed to be really cute at night with like lights and music and all that stuff. But I wanted to come here during daylight because I want a picture for Instagram. <laughs> So guys, we just made it to a vegetarian restaurant that has tons of vegan options and oh my god, the quotes are so sad. <laughs> this one is even sadder, but otherwise everything else looks super good and I'm dying to eat. It's like, what, 4 p.m. now? Three. Three? <laughs> wow! I'm getting better at eating lunch earlier. That's... I'm so good, I'm so good. <laughs> and the restaurant's name is Mandala. So we got most of the food out. I just wanna show you guys real quick before we dive into it. So we got some jack potato with some stuff. I'm not really sure what it is, but it smells amazing. We got chickpea fries, and I don't know how they do it, but we'll see. And we got the, um, the carrots, marinated carrots. Toast. That. <laughs> wow. Is it good? It's amazing. It does taste like it tastes like chickpeas. Well clear like it's chickpeas, but how do they do it? Oh my god, it's amazing. Guys, this thing to me is like deep fried cheese is to Americans. This tastes like Everything I love in life. Mm -hmm. It's so good. This is genius. I need to like steal the recipe and do this in my own restaurant or something. So got another thing. This is the koftas. It's basically meatballs and tomato sauce and celery paste or something. I was just saying in Hebrew that all the, the, plates, are the really plates are super fucking fancy. Ew. Look at this plate though. This is my fave. It's good. It's not my favorite. Currently on our way to the fortress, which is like the most famous um, attraction here. And I'm sitting in front of the house that used to belong to the princess. It's really pretty. And this is the main church of Belgrade. And it looks cool. The umbrella is totally lost shape. It's actually kind of sad but beautiful. These are anti-fascist people. Oh, I like you guys. It is super, super impressive. It is huge, it's humongous. And it was built 279 BC. Like that's how old this place is. It was built like right in front of the Danube and I learned how to pronounce that one and the Sava rivers so um, during like the more gory times of this country there was a lot of uh, people trying to uh, infiltrate this country through the rivers so they built this fortress right in front of it so they can block stuff um, they had nine battles here overall I think why am I always drawn to tiny, old, dusty, creepy rooms? <laughs> I don't know, but it's interesting. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like so much fun! I want to try this! 
And this is uh, the famous entrance, really, really impressive. We have a really good song there and I just shazammed it, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this. <laughs> you guys, and they have vines in like a peach or nectarine tree like there and it looks so good and the vine goes all the way there. Now that's dedication for ya. If my future partner doesn't go up on roofs to take pictures of me, I don't want to be with them. Wow. So guys, we are just sitting in a cute little bar next to literally... <laughs> go away! And it's right in front of the entrance of this gorgeous fortress. You can come up again. <laughs> And we're just having some lemonade or limonada as they call it here and in Israel, which is interesting. And the playlist is so good. Alright guys, we just entered an exhibition next to the castle of medieval torture instruments. I have to say like the soundtrack is already really freaking me out, but I'll show you guys around. This is soundtrack review what roof. Oh, uh, do I want to see it? No, do you want to read it? I don't know. The Breast Reaper. And this device was used to rip out the chest and breasts of people who were suspected to be wizards and witches. And also unmarried mothers who were suspected of abortion. This is so sick. So this is for branding, like they do to animals in factory farms. I feel so sick right now. The, everything there was fucking insane. But I think the worst out of all of them, which were all gruesome and horrible, was the water torture. Where they make you, like, they put a pipe in your mouth and pour tons of water into you. And then they hit you and then they take the pipe out. Sometimes they push the pipe down your whole esophagus and all that stuff. And then they take it out and oh my god. How do people survive that? I don't know. So we're back home and I was just, the whole bus ride, I was just thinking about how horrid this world is and how like depressing it is that we, you know, like these are things that have happened like not that long ago, like the, 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 the skull crusher with like the thing, yes? There's a screw, like you're bound by, you know, this, I don't know, metal band or something. And then there's a, a screw that they screw into your head. Oh my God. That thing was used even in the 70s in some country. I think it was Spain, but it could be wrong. In the 70s, 1975, that was what's written on the thing. And it's like, it. and there's still death penalty in so many places in the world most of my followers are from the US and I'm just yeah these things fuck me up so bad so the whole ride back home I was just thinking what can I do to well mostly it's a selfish thing what can I do to like help others to make me not feel like this whole existence is worthless um, but basically I was thinking what else can I do besides like not hurting animals and people like what else can i do besides being vegan the least you can do is not hurt and then after that like if you want to go extra and help and save that's like the next level but i want to like oh my god i so want to do something meaningful besides like i know my youtube channel is helping so many people and it's probably like the most efficient way of activism at this point but i just want to do something that will make me feel like i'm actually doing something because i know i'm helping you guys but it's like all virtual it's like numbers i can't really put a face to anything it doesn't change anything in the way that i feel in my core so 
I don't know if you have any ideas or suggestions or things or things to do or places to go and help out in just leave them in the comments below programs you know of I would be really interested in checking things further so yes <laughs> hey maniacs this is the following day and I'm in a much better mood than I was last last uh I was about to say last night, it wasn't last night, it was just yesterday. And uh, we're just about to get ready. Why can't I English? And we're currently on our way to a beach. It's a beach on a river, which is something I don't think I've done before. What? It's a lake? Oh, I've done lakes before. Really? It's not? Okay. So we're on our way to the beach. Uh, it's a lake beach, as they do in some of the European countries I've visited lately. And uh, so far so good, looks hot, it's actually really hot today, which is nice, and uh, yeah, we'll see you there. just set and it's a lot more tolerable now it was just really really hot earlier and honestly the beach is beautiful but this rocks these rocks they're so painful <laughs> but look at it it's so nice it's so nice but I think we'll be getting going soon because I'm hungry I feel like food I haven't had any like proper authentic vegan Serbian food yet and I really want to try something I want to try the pita I want to try the bubek I need the salad the pizza salad the Swedish pizza salad <laughs> my Swedes know what I'm talking about it's basically the most delicious cabbage salad with vinegar oh my god so, I'm salivating so much let's go eat there <laughs> we need to get a bakery and a pizza salad. Let's do it. So uh, we went to a bakery and we saw some vegan things. They had like mostly sweet pastries with like cherries and stuff like that and i'm definitely feeling savory like when i'm hungry i need savory and then i can eat sweet so we went to the supermarket and have some options in the like deli kind of thing that they have like cooked food in advance so we got some um i got some peas and some beans and i got the famous pizza salad oh my god it's so good yes like I bought, I bought the whole thing whatever they had there like i literally bought all of it Oh my god. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Also got hummus and um, some snacks for tomorrow and bread because I want to make some sandwiches. I'm taking a bus to Bulgaria. So it's going to be interesting. Basically, you just ask for posno. Anything that is posno is 99% vegan. It's for their fast, the orthodox fast. It's called Lent or something. I don't know much about that, but... Whatever it is, it's great for us because they just have these options everywhere year round and especially during like the actual months of the fast, which I don't know when they are. So I'm gonna have to ask Sarah. But currently I'm waiting for my pita. It's so weird. It's um well it's weird for me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's just weird for me because all of the pastries that they have here are basically called burekas where I come from, so they call it something else, like for every single shape. So this one is pita it's basically like a dough like a thin dough that's filled with stuff and then rolled um but we call it burekas <laughs> it's all burekas for us so um i'm really excited to try this one it's with uh, mashed potatoes oh my god i'm so excited i'm so hungry i want to eat be ready please be ready i didn't expect it to be this oily to be honest <laughs> so we're just at the bakery now and i just wanted to show you guys the vegan options this is so cool because whatever is in a yellow like sticker it's vegan it's like posno it's like their fasting thing so it's super cool so you see yeah so i got a sweet cherry pastry i got another pastry with jam i got the pita the famous pita 
with mushrooms and another pita with broccoli and spinach. Alright guys, our time here in Serbia, Belgrade, has finished. I went my way to the bus station to take a bus to Bulgaria, which is if you don't know where my grandparents came from. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see that. I've never been there. I'm super excited to go there. I had such a good time in Serbia. Even though I was sick and I didn't get to explore much of it and this vlog was pretty short and there wasn't much to it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it regardless. If you did, make sure you press that thumbs up button. Comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I'm trying to make an outro. Check out my ebooks if you're interested in some delicious vegan recipes. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.